Hello everyone, Carrie Bramley, Physio and Pilates Instructor here. So today I'd like to look at a little exercise called single leg circles. And usually in the class routine, the floor routine, it's brought in around about hundreds after we've done hundreds or dead bugs. So... Um, you do backwards arms, single leg lifts, preparation and hundreds, and then you can move into this if, if you'd like to, okay? I use it clinically to um, assess whether someone has, has got a, a weaker core on one side or the other, but also to assess what's happening with a muscle called adductor magnus, which acts like a hamstring muscle, okay, it's it's found in our inner thigh, um, and it's actually quite a, a difficult one to to stretch out because it's made of two parts, and I'll show you that in a minute. So the other nice thing with the single leg circles is that um, it's really good for quad strengthening. Um, and of course, core strengthening, and then of course you you're stretching out our adductors and um, this particular little muscle as well. Okay, so I'll just show you here. So this is the looking at the back of the body. This is the back of our um, sacrum, the back of our pelvic bone here, and this is the back of our hip. And coming down to the back of the femur and the back of the knee, okay? So adductor magnus has this bit here, this long bit here. And you can see the direction of the fibers that way. And then it's got all these cross fibers here with quite an extensive attachment that way. Um, so you can see the muscle is made up of two parts and we've got to kind of stretch both. So that's why I like this clinically. I, I like this exercise clinically. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to do this, you could um, do, you know, goal call one and stop the video and just do this little exercise if you want to. You know, have a look at this and practice it a bit and then fit that in and then start again. Or you could just tag it on at the end just whatever is easier for you or you could just do it as a simple exercise you know which is what we do clinically you know we just work these things out um we we can pick and choose what we like <laughs> okay but yes uh, pilates had some amazing has some amazing exercises and um uh, they've made a huge difference to my life as a as a physiotherapist they've given me um a base from which to teach and of course you know once you you add the understanding of what what you're trying to achieve with these exercises it's amazing all right so we're going to start with our standing roll down and um i'm just going to show you i use a broomstick to um teach people how to monitor what's happening on one side of their tummy or the other so i'm going to show you how to do that okay Shoulders back and down, breathe in, breathe out, pull in that belly button, soften, keep the knee alignment, hook, lower, roll, and reach, chest up, two push up, fantastic, okay, right, so we're going to come onto our back, and I'm going to lie with my head this way. Just my voice projects better that way. That's the feedback I've had. <laughs> and I might look back, but you're really supposed to have your chin tucked in most of the time. Okay. That's it. Just so that I can see what's happening here. Okay. So I'm going to put the broomstick just by my belly button there. And I'm just going to have my hands here, 
just so that I can monitor what's happening with the broomstick, okay? It's quite a good little way of working out how to pull on your beeline as having the broomstick there, okay? I've got nothing on this. So if you have, you know, the broom bit on, you might need to just balance it a little bit more because if you've got the broom on, it's going to be like that, okay? All right. So we go with one leg. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in the belly button and raise one leg, okay? So you want to raise it in line with the hip. Okay, not in like that. Because you can see in like that changes your core straight away. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out, pull in to straighten that knee. Now just straighten as much as you can at this stage. You might not be able to totally straighten it, but just do what you can. Eventually, we want that knee as straight as we can have it. Okay, then in a straight position, you're turning that knee out, okay? And you might feel that stretch behind the knee and maybe even down to the calf, okay? Don't worry about that. Here we go. Breathe in, breathe out. So we're thinking of drawing imaginary circles. So, you know, think of a pen pencil balancing on your heel and you want to draw those imaginary circles and you want to try and get them as circular as possible, not, you know, in a rectangle or kind of wiggledy, piggledy. Okay, so let's see how we go. Breathe in. So I've turned that leg out. My knee is as straight as I can have it. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in. And you want to start drawing that circle. Now I'm just going to stop here because this part here, you've got to really think of pulling that tummy in. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to land up doing the rest of the circle like that. Okay, which is why I like the broomstick here. So let's just get to that part again. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come around. So I stop here because it's a good time to rethink straightening of the knee. Breathe out, pull in the opposite tummy muscles to then come out and around. And then you're coming up in that position, back to the middle and down, okay? And eventually, we increase the size of the circle. So let's just do that on the other side. Just going to have my chin tucked in. Not good for the neck to be like that. Okay, so here we go. Breathe out to raise. Breathe in. Breathe out to think of pulling in the opposite tummy. Straight knee. Breathe in. Breathe out to turn that whole leg out, keeping that knee straight. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to start drawing an imaginary circle. You might want to stop here because you want to get that knee really straight. Pull in the opposite tummy. To come around. I've been that knee a bit. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep that knee straight to come up, back to the middle, and down. Okay? So that's what we want to try and get. And we do that in each direction. And then we change direction. Okay? And then we try and go um, a slightly bigger circle. So let's maybe try the other direction, just one. And then we'll put it all together and do some big ones and see how we go, uh, some bigger circles and see how we go with that. Okay, now with this knee, if you feel you're bending that knee, so you must go as straight as you can for the knee. And if you feel you, you take that, 
straightening, you slacken that straightening, you need to stop and start again because you're not going to get this muscle stretched out if you have a bent knee, okay? We need to go for the, if you think your knee is straight, it's not straight enough, okay? So that's the, what we've got to try and do. Here we go, breathe in, breathe out. Pull in to raise and straighten. Breathe in, breathe out to turn that whole leg out. Think of pushing the heel to the ceiling. This is what gets your knee strength here. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to draw an imaginary circle. Keep that knee really straight, breathe in. Breathe out, pull in the opposite side to come around and up, back to the middle and down. Okay, here we go. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to raise. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to straighten. Go the straightest knee you can. Turn that knee out. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in the opposite tummy. Keep that knee straight. This is where I like to take a breath in. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come out and around. Keep that knee straight, up, back to the middle and down. Okay, all right, here we go again. We're going the other direction. Breathe out, pull in to raise and straighten. Turn that knee out, pushing the heel to the ceiling. We go the other direction, anti-clockwise. Breathe out, pull in to come around. Pull the opposite tummy in. Keep that knee straight. Come around. Back to the middle and bend. Breathe out, pull in to raise and straighten. Turn that knee out. We're going the opposite direction. Breathe out to come down and around. Pull this opposite tummy in. Keep the knee straight. Bend. And down. Okay. Right. So that's how I like to start it and teach it that way. But then afterwards what you can do is just have your hands here just to assess what's happening. Okay. So just see. Yeah, I've got enough room here. Okay. So what I want you to see here is we're going to start doing the big circles, okay, it doesn't really matter what happens with your foot, the key is the knee. Uh, just what I want to show you here, I'll just do it without really concentrating on here. When you get to the bigger circles, what tends to happen is that leg comes out to counterbalance the straight leg. And of course, what we want is that to come from the core. So when you're doing the, the big circles, you really just want to go to what your core can cope with. So I don't want you to come a big circle like this, bend the knee, and then that leg goes out. We've lost the point of the whole thing. Okay, so breathe out to straighten. Breathe out to turn that kneecap out. We're pulling the opposite tummy in, and you're seeking out that range to come up back to the middle and down okay now we're working this side breathe out to pull in well you know we're working the whole bit but we're trying to get our brain to think of stabilizing this so that we don't roll everywhere okay breathe out to straighten breathe out to turn that leg so that the knee caps out, keep the knee straight, breathe out, pull in, we come out and around, you're seeking out 
Keep the knee straight. Don't try and work the other leg. Back to the middle. And down. Awesome. Okay. And now we go the other way. Anti-clockwise. So you see with anti-clockwise, you're lowering the leg down here. That's eccentric muscle work. Okay. And that's, uh, well, you know, and that's brilliant for tummy work here. Breathe in, breathe out to raise, and straighten. Turn that knee out, here we go. Breathe out, pull in, to lower. Keep the knee straight, to come out and around, so you're gonna really work the opposite tummy. Back to the middle, and down, good. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to raise, and straighten. Turn that leg out, breathe out to lower. I'm working this side, breathe out, keep that knee straight, come out and around. Back to the middle and lower. Okay, breathe out, breathe out, pull in to straighten. Turn that knee out, we're doing a big circle this way. Breathe out, pull in, seek out that range, work the other side, tummy, squeeze that knee straight, back to the middle, and down. Breathe out, pull in to raise, turn that knee cap out, breathe in, breathe out, pull in the opposite tummy, try and keep the leg out of it. Knee straight, back to the middle, and down. Last one in each direction, going anti-clockwise. Breathe in, out to raise, straighten. Turn that kneecap out, breathe out to lower. Breathe in, breathe out, work the opposite tummy. Knee straight. Breathe out, pull in, straighten, turn that knee out, breathe out to lower, out and around, back to the middle, and bend, okay. So, you know, when we would be doing it in a class situation, we'd be maybe starting with the small circles, breathe out, pull in, to do just small circles like that. Okay, breathe out, pull in, to do small circles, straight knee. And then you could change if you wanted to, or you could go into your big circles. Okay, so that's how we would put it all together. All right, so, you know, if you're doing the small circles, you might want to do three in each direction. And then um, I tend to go one big one clockwise, one big one anti-clockwise. It's just for me, I find the anti-clockwise one it really challenges my core. So I want to get my brain to be chopping and changing between those. But you could do, you know, two or three and two or three if you wanted to, okay? Um, and that would be fine. Um, and you'll see I tend to chop and change a little bit between the legs. Same thing. It's really the brain thing. Because I want my, my brain to be kicking in the opposite core. And if I'm doing everything all together on one side, um, 
the brain can get a bit complacent. <laughs> so, yes, so that's why I chop and change it a little bit. That's just, you know, um, <laughs> some of the brain stuff coming in. Okay, um, but it doesn't matter. All right. I don't think... I don't think I've ever done a class with 10 reps of each. Um, you know, maybe you'll see mostly in Pilates, we do about five reps or we hold it a bit longer or we take it a bit slower, um, work the technique more. You could do your whole little exercise with the broomstick balancing on, on your belly button and that would be fine too, okay? Right, so that's single leg circles, and I hope that just gives you some ideas of, of how to work that. Okay, come up into standing, and we'll finish with our standing water. <clears throat> Breathe in. Breathe out to soften and poke. Lower, roll, and reach. Breathe in, breathe out, chest up, two, push up. <laughs> Great to have your company. So, you know, remember these videos are free, but I'd love you to subscribe and, and please comment. Um, you know, the feedback is fantastic and, um, you know, I can make improvements so good and bad comments are okay. <laughs> uh, I haven't done videos like this prior to this time, so I'm just still learning. Okay. Um, have a great day, everyone. Bye.